This substance might be silver or aluminum or some other metal. It's almost impossible to tell what it is by simply looking. How can the identity of a substance be determined? There are many ways to determine the identity of an unknown substance. For example, density, a physical property, can be used to help identify unknown substances. Another way to identify a substance is to observe how it interacts with other substances. The behavior of magnesium with acid is one of its chemical properties. Every substance has a unique set of physical and chemical properties. These properties can be used to describe and identify substances. Explore some physical and chemical properties. Describe some physical properties of this substance. Sodium is a silvery white substance. This piece of sodium has an irregular shape and texture. These physical properties can be observed visually. Some physical properties must be tested. Sodium is soft enough to be cut with a knife. Other physical properties can be measured or calculated. For instance, the mass and volume of mercury can be measured and its density can be calculated. Lead can be heated to find the temperature at which it melts. Boiling point and freezing point are also measurable physical properties. Physical properties are the characteristics of a substance that can be observed or measured without changing the basic identity of the substance. Some physical properties, like size, shape, and mass, only relate to the amount of a sample of a substance. These are called extensive properties. Because extensive properties change from sample to sample, they are not useful for determining the identity of the substance. Properties like density, boiling point, and conductivity are the same for any sample of a given substance. These properties are called intensive properties. Because intensive properties are the same for every sample of a substance, they are useful in determining a substance's identity. Here are some common physical properties. Describe what happens when a piece of sodium is dropped into water. Sodium reacts vigorously with water to produce a gas. Reactivity with water is a chemical property.
This is potassium. The silver luster quickly disappears when it is cut. Why do you think this happens? The silvery luster disappears because potassium readily reacts with air, producing a new substance. Reactivity with air is another chemical property. Chemical properties describe how a substance reacts with other substances. Chemical properties cannot be observed without altering the identity of the original substance. There is a tremendous variation in the reactivity of substances. Knowing how substances react help us create useful products. For example, coins, buildings, and paint are made out of materials that do not readily react with air or water. Cleaning products are made of substances that interact with oils and water. Fuel reacts with oxygen, while cookware does not. Explore some common chemical properties.